Hi guys, okay, today I'm going to be showing you um, a new edition of the Universal Plater called the Universal Pro Series Chrome. Um, it's our Universal Plater kit that gives you the option of plating gold onto chrome plated items like car emblems. Okay, so we're just going to get right into it. Here I have a little emblem here, it's chrome plated. Uh, Whenever they chrome plate something, there is a layer of nickel underneath it. So that's the key to the whole thing. The first step, we're going to be stripping the chrome off so that we can get to the underlying layer of nickel because you don't want a gold plate straight onto chrome. So um, with the, the kit, we're going to put it to the chrome stripping position. And what that does is it automatically sets this first yellow port over here to the correct voltage and everything. You don't even have to worry about the volt output, nothing. It's already ready to roll. So we take it and here we go. All right, we're gonna start just spreading it on there. Now, you'll see that it will start to change color. And what that is, is that's the chrome removing. And when the chrome comes off, you'll the underlying metal uh, will have almost a coppery tint to it. It's like maybe even a little bit of a goldish copper tint. And that's how you know that the chrome is coming off. Now, you do want to do this in, a, in an area with local ventilation, meaning have a window open, have a door open, have a, a fan blowing across because the fumes are a little bit nasty. They're not something you just want to sit there and breathe and, st and still air. So Now if you noticed, I clipped the black clip to the back here, just to anywhere off. And I'm only going to be plating the part that's going to be visible because this will be mounted onto a car. And you know, you don't want to worry about the part that you can't see. So I'm just taking my time and chrome stripping everywhere that's going to be visible, all the way around the edges here, down in these little nooks and crannies, and you know, keep dipping. Make sure you have plenty of chrome stripping solution. It's it's fairly cheap, so you don't want to, you know, go short on it. I think I've pretty much got it all off. Um, I could probably move forward right now. I'm just going to spend another 10 or 15 seconds on here just to make sure. If you don't get it all off, it, it can cause problems. So you're better off overdoing it than underdoing it. In the event that you, you didn't get all the chrome off and you went forward and gold plated it, you may see areas that are cloudy or hazy. Uh, you know, you'll have different visual issues. Uh, and you'll have to polish it off with some Mother's Magnet Aluminum Polish or similar and start over. Okay, so I believe the chrome is stripped. So I'm going to rinse it off here. Kind of look over everywhere, make sure there's somewhere I didn't obviously miss. But to me it looks good. Uh, there's a spot right there. I'm going to get just a little bit more because I, I just think I see some chrome there. So I'm just going to get here a little more. Okay. Let's try it out. Move on and see how it goes. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the activation. So we come over to this switch and we switch it to normal plating. That works for these two ports here, the, the middle and the gold port. Here we have our surface activator solution and we want to set the voltage to six, six to seven volts will be fine. Now this is just a quick activation of the nickel. Um, you, you can't really hurt it if you overdo it, but it's just not necessary to go too long. Just 15 to 20 seconds is sufficient. You're just Activating that underlying layer of nickel and getting it ready for gold plating. Okay. 
pops that off. Now it's really important that you change the voltage between this step and the next, you know. You don't want to be gold plating at 6.2 volts. You want to change it down to 5. I would recommend 5 at the most. Maybe a little more once you're a little more experienced, but stay at 5 because the voltage is going to drop down as soon as I touch this to it and start plating. It'll drop down by about a whole volt and go to 4 volts. Now let's see. Here we go. Ready? Go. So you know immediately the gold starts to fly on there. That is a good sign. If it's taking 5-10 seconds for the gold to start going on, there's something wrong. Um, maybe you didn't strip all the chrome. That's most likely what happened if the gold is not going on quickly. Or your voltage is too low. Maybe you just need to turn it up a little. But if you've got to turn it up much more than 5, five volts, 5.5 five volts, you're probably a chrome issue. But as you can see, it's turning gold quickly. That looks very nice. Now you want to spend probably, you know, one to two minutes in a given area. Dip frequently. Uh, you know, make sure you get everywhere. And this is actually a, a rapidly applying gold solution that we make. Uh, and it goes on pretty quickly. In this one to two minute time, you are really applying a fairly relatively thick layer of gold in the electroplating industry will last a long time if these are taken good care of see and it's already done I mean you could call it good right there it's very very nice plate on it now I want to try and rinse it off and show you how beautiful it looks And now I would take it and, you know, maybe rinse it under the sink, whatever, and dip it in another thing. Make sure you get all the solution off and out of it. But I'm just going to take a paper towel and dry it off. I'm going to unclip it. Bring it over here. Dry it off real quickly. Make sure we don't get any water spots here. Man, that looks great. And that is how you gold plate a chrome plated item using the universal chrome edition. A regular universal plater is not set up to do this. So when if you're going to be doing cars, make sure you get the chrome edition. It's our new kit. People are going to love it. Thanks for watching.